What is up, guys? It's Razor. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. In the previous episode, we went to the Imperial Stronghold and got back to Regalia, as you can tell. And in this episode, we're going to continue advancing the storyline. So let's go meet with Iris. Here in the Stalum. I'll be at the hotel, I'd imagine. Yep, right over here. Oh, Gladi. What's wrong? I let you down. I never made it to Kayem. The Empire came while you were gone. None of us said a word about Noct. They just showed up and then... <sighs> Poor Jared. What do you mean? What happened to Jared? There was nothing we could do! Should have been here. I I couldn't stop them. But I won't let the Empire get away with it. They'll pay for what they've done. I promise. I believe in you, Prince Noctis. I'm taking Talcott, and we're going to Kayim. We... We can't just stay here and do nothing. <laughs> I understand. Trophy are in dark clouds. All right. <clears throat> and we all uh, we gained a level, except for well, Noctis gained a level. I don't know if the other characters did or not. Ooh, Gladios got his uh, survival up. Phoenix Finder. Yeah, the Imperial Scums. Oh, cutscene. That was a pretty crazy dream, but we've all been there before. I know I've had crazy dreams in the past, crazy nightmares or whatever. Anyway, chapter six, a way forward. Beneath the Cape KM light in the south of Klein lies an underground harbor. It has long served as, as long served the Lucian royalty, and even now a vassal once owned by King 
Re Regis lies at anchor there, following in his father's footsteps, knocked his heads for the ship. Sorry it took long to read that. No joke, I am a legit fast reader, but that writing is just like too small and I don't have glasses, so. I've been meaning to get glasses for a long time, I just never got around to it. Eventually I will get glasses though. I can't let her go it alone. After anyway, cutscene. It'll be a squeeze in the car, but just for a while. Shall we then? Yeah, I don't want to keep Sid and Cindy waiting. They're fixing. I'll set to set sail. Meet up with Faris. Actually, Jared's the one we ought to thank. Yeah. He really thought of everything. Should I get a food buff or no? Hmm. I think I should. I don't know if you get one later or not. But yeah, I might as well. We stack only quality products here. Fireproof enters. That's new. Here you go. Enjoy. Styling gel. Insulated innards. There we go. Come back again. Hey, what you looking for today? Pleasure doing business. Oh, yeah, I definitely want that. There we go. More whenever you need it. That's it. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Welcome, welcome. Remind me, what was it you liked again? Chris's magic by two hundred. Attack by 300, 350, and then increases attack or increases damage based on difference between your party level and the enemy's level. Eat up, youngins like you need to keep up your strength. Wonder if not, uh, Ignis learned that recipe too. Yep. Nice. That's good. Heading out? Come back anytime you like. Okay. All right, let's make our way to the. Uh, make our way over to where Iris is at.
filled her up for you. Thanks. Ready to roll? Once you proceed, you will be unable to return for some time. Are you certain you wish to continue? Yes. Actually, hold on one second. All right. So before we talk to Iris and advance the story, we want to go. We want to go do a particular tour. Before we do that. So let's <clears throat> open up the map here. And we want to head down to this particular haven over here. And we're going to do we're going to be doing a particular tour called A Flower for Iris. Or Iris or however you pronounce her name. And then that's going to unlock another uh, tour as well. So we might as well get it out of the way. Everything in order. Yep. Right behind you. Okay, so let's head on over to the Haven. We can't go off-road in the Regalia, so we gotta run or use a chocobo. Let's go ahead and use a chocobo. Oh wait, what the heck? Oh, I don't have the chocobo rental period. The rental period's up. I can't use a chocobo. It'll be alright though. This tour is not that far away as you can tell. It's right over there. much for that food buff that I got earlier put 7,000 on it our encounters with the Chancellor seem more than mere chance I see that guy everywhere I've seen enough of it not that 7,000 is a lot of money anyway though not we'll be able to make plenty of money later so I'm not really worried about it like we can make plenty of money right now if I wanted to but I don't really want to. I don't really care to right now. <clears throat> Grab this food spot over here. Or else it's lightning. Never mind. Thought it was a food spot. Going to make a super powerful spell here. Yeah, that's something new I didn't show off earlier, but you can actually use items to like increase your potency and stuff, and um, change the spell entirely too.
Like, that's quadcast times three. That's insane. And obviously, depending on the item you use, it'll change the... Yeah, look at that. 318 potency. That is super overpowered right there. What I just made is super overpowered. And if you keep going to Havens, you can just keep getting more and more magic, too. Yeah, magic is super overpowered in this game. That's why I don't really use it a whole lot. Alright. Go ahead and camp. And it's going to trigger a tour. We're not really going to gain any EXP. There's that thing we just ate. And I'll probably eat it again. Yeah, this will trigger that tour that I was talking about. They, uh, Gotta sneeze. Oh, sorry about that. I need your help. Oh crap. What's this now? Well, my sis puts on a brave face, but I, know I don't sneeze that often. But when I do, it's like super loud. Show that I care, and that's where you come in. So I apologize for that. Sure. Yeah, sure thing. So, what do you need me to do? Pick a flower. A flower. A particular flower that only blooms at dawn. Indigenous to these parts. Eurus has always had a soft spot for him. An early morning. Well, at least it'll be easy pickings. You can count on me. Your friend is inviting you on a tour. Join him at dawn tomorrow and undertake a special task. You must remain in the vicinity of your destination. Okay, let's go pick that flower. Just to check, you sure you know where to look? Yeah, should be just up ahead. Alrighty. Here we are. Bound to be one around here somewhere. It's a pretty big somewhere to look. Yeah, for real. We'll find it. Come on. If I find it. Luckily it tells you where it's at, so we just gotta follow the green over there. Could you imagine if it just said go find it? But not tell not tell you where it's at. That'd be a bit of a hassle. But I kinda like that. Like in the old Final Fantasies would have done that. The older Final Fantasies would have said, would have said, hey, there's a flower out there. You got to find it yourself. We're not going to tell you where it's at. And I kind of liked it back then. Like, I was more than happy to, like, go out and find a particular item, not knowing where it's at, and just look around for it. 
In this game, it's like, now we're gonna we're just gonna tell you exactly where it's at. But unfortunately for me, I'm having I gotta still having trouble finding it, even though it tells me where it's at. I'm gonna get over there, I guess. There's also a treasure spot over there too. Let's see if we can go around. There's a car over there. Wouldn't mind picking up that treasure spot before we uh, get the flower though. So I can share spots up there on that mountain. Yeah, screw it. Okay, it's somewhere around here. Here they are. Or, is that it? Guess not. That had to be it. Do you have to like... Maybe it's not it. It's literally flowers right there. Hmm. We gotta climb up. Probably have to go over up there, probably. I don't know, this is weird. I don't know if you have to examine them from a distance or what. I don't know. But it seems like it's right, right there. It's like I'm eating my words some earlier. I said, oh, we can go up here, okay. Maybe it's up here then. There's a item down over there. There's a turtle spot right here. I see one. There. Yeah. How am I supposed to reach it? 
Well, that's why I'm here, to give you a boost. All right, let's give it a shot. There we go. Yeah, we got it. Great work, Noct. Well, that took a little bit longer than it should have, but... Not really sure you needed me. Well, I'd, I'd like you to give her the flower. That'll mean even more to her. Huh? Why? What's wrong with it being from us? <sighs> How clueless can you be? Look, just hand it to her for me, okay? Sure. Good hustle out there. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm awesome. <laughs> yeah, keep telling yourself that, Noctis. Alright. Obtain 20 AP. Alright. Yeah, so you really don't have to do the tours if you don't want to. I mean, 20 AP is nothing. But Might as well grab that. How do you take control of characters again? Oh, okay, L1 and L2, alright. I'm basically just take whatever I can afford. Alright, but I'm in the video here. In the next episode, we will continue the storyline. I took a lot of my food buff, though, away. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.